Hey, welcome back everybody. Derek Sue, your 2022 Oakland mayoral candidate. Well, uh, we have a special project coming up here and uh, wanted to make sure that you knew what we're doing. We're actually going to commandeer an Oakland community land trust property. It's a two and a half acre site that uh, I literally grew up four homes away from. And the city of Oakland has never developed this. As far as I know, they've never sold it. Uh, there in the past have been uh, a lot of maintenance work by the city of Oakland because uh, this uh, is in the Oakland Hills and it has a lot of land, or it used to have a lot of landslide issues uh, back in the 60s and especially during the 70s when we would get uh, yeah, pretty heavy rains and then uh, eventually what ended up happening a lot of times was that property uh, end up uh, blocking off the street in all directions so uh, um, we're going to, we're going to take over this this property and um, the reason why we're doing this uh, we're uh, the city of Oakland mayor Libby Shaft her uh, administration has been stonewalling us we uh, us advocates have uh, lobbied uh, long and hard to get um, access to community land trust properties to set up uh, tiny home villages. And so uh, it's in the charter and we can put uh, two tiny home villages in every district. There are seven districts in the city of Oakland. So uh, by accessing these residential um, community land trust properties uh, that makes a difference and then these are our normal walking residential properties so we're really they're not out of line and, and this is the way that um, we're going to be able to bring affordable housing to everyone not just the unhoused population uh, but also those that were formerly incarcerated. Um, got a lot of different, uh, sorry about that folks. Uh, I get donors here all day, all day long and then uh, uh, they're checking on me also. So anyway, um, we're bringing community land trust uh, property issue to the forefront because this is how we're going to be able to create the tiny home villages of tomorrow uh, at the lowest cost because these properties cost the city and county nothing and right now they're collecting nothing because there's no property tax there's no owner to collect from and so uh, these are just sitting idle and and typically what uh, city and counties do with uh, these properties if they don't see much value or any value in them <clears throat> for their purposes. Uh, they're sold as excess property uh, on the doorsteps, literally on the doorsteps and, and uh, stairs of um, uh, the courthouse. And a lot of these properties are the properties that end up going to the harmful developers uh, that uh, buy your, your property uh, 24 hours regardless of condition you know, you know, the, those type of agencies though those are are the harmful agencies that that end up with those properties buying them for pennies and then selling them for for huge profits uh, again like I say profits over people uh, they're not our friends uh, they do a lot of harm to our communities of color because that's where they target they know though that's where the low lowest cost homes are and then they look at uh, a lot of uh, distressed properties so those are the ones that they target and, and those are the ones that are getting stolen from us and so rather than allowing those folks to have them we put a stop to that so now properties inside the city of Oakland before they go on the market they have to be uh, looked at by the city um, community land trust so that if it's something that we believe that is valuable and should be uh, kept, then it's going to be kept. And then these are the properties where uh, we can divide them up into uh, the uh, individual units. 
and then create the land trust for each of these individuals. And the land trust uh, is a very low cost uh, to them, uh, typically about $1 a year uh, is their cost. And, and then uh, the only other things that they, they would pay as part of the HOA, which would be for the solar electricity, the water, because water is going to be common, the sewer uh, system maintenance, and, you know, just the general maintenance, and then also the insurance on the property, you know, if it's required. Because, but because it's city uh, community land trust property, uh, we may not have to have uh, insurance on the building. So, it, it, there's some things that we have to work out still, but uh, we'll, we'll be way further ahead than we are right now. Uh, by opening these community land trust properties sooner than later. And so that's what the whole purpose of this demonstration and prop, uh, protest is uh, coming up in April. We actually uh, intend to have an April 15th uh, breakout date. So <laughs> kind of plan accordingly uh, on that. And, and April 15th, 2021 is uh, the breakout date so keep that in mind location to uh, be announced uh, we have the property and we're uh, going to contact the neighborhood I'm going to talk with the neighbors in the neighborhood and uh, uh, build relationships with that neighborhood before we step foot onto that uh, property that community land trust property so anyway that's what we're up to stay tuned we'll be right back